Giant Lab? Maple is way better. Yeah, but is that trivial? It says to justify your answer. Do you think I can just write, refer to the proof in the text? I never should have taken calculus for granted. If I fail this class, I'm switching my major to engineering. I didn't love Stewart's Transcendentals, but it didn't make me want to pull my hair out either. Thank God for Professor Leonard. Well, my proof's only six lines, but it took me six hours to do. I think I got it. Never mind. Yeah, I asked him about it, but all he said was to use existence. That proof only took you 20 minutes? Yeah, right, Terrence Tao. Yeah, the exam was pretty good. Uh, I set a curve with 72. I found a pretty good YouTube video on groups. It's in Hindi, but it's still better than the text. How big was the curve on your overall grade? 20 points. I mean, I get it, but Cantor's diagonalization just kind of makes me uncomfortable. If I get an 80 on this exam, I'm definitely celebrating this weekend. Can I copy your proof for number three? Yeah, my proof is seven pages. Never mind. I'll just take a zero. Wait, what's a kernel again? He said we should have learned roots of unity in pre-calc, but I've literally never seen that in my life. The real question is whether it's commutative or commutative. If someone asks you who your favorite mathematician is and you don't say, say Euler, you're f***ing wrong. Newton notation, Leibniz notation, all I'm saying is, can we just sit down and pick one and stick with it for the love of God?